Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We have a special guest on the line right now, a legend. <laughs> a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Donnie Simpson. Welcome. Donnie, well, thank what's up, you, Jake? Hey, what's up, Charlemagne? How you doing, brother? Man, I'm blessed, black, and highly favored, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord, man. Good to talk to y'all, man. You, you know, know yesterday we were reading the nominations because, uh, you know, we were nominated for the Radio Hall of Fame and we were going through right. who else were nominated. And then we seen your name and we couldn't understand how a legend like you wasn't in the Radio Hall of Fame already. Word. I was yeah. shocked to find that out. <laughs> I know, man. Well, several people sent me the video of that, the audio, and uh, it was just, I got to tell you, man, it was moving for me to see your reaction to that. You know, um, it just it just really touched me, man. And that's why I wanted to call in today, man, just to say thank y'all for that. You know, that that meant the world to me, man, to know that, uh, you know, that my people feel that way about me, man. It's just, it's just it was just really cool. It was very special, man. So a, thank y'all. You a legend, Donnie. I mean, I, I, I'm, listen, I'm 42 years old and BET just celebrated their 40th, you know, birthday. So that means yeah. literally half or 75 percent of my life i grew up watching you on bet and just seeing a, a a black man on television being himself doing his thing then when i got in the yeah. radio and knowing your radio background in dc that's, that's just that's inspiring you know yeah my man well thank you brother I, I really appreciate that man and um you know to know that you have inspired somebody is is, is you know that's rewarding uh you know and i want to talk about something that you said yesterday man you were talking about you know, the, the Hall of Fame and the lack of diversity in it and all that, right. which has always been an issue for me, too. Um, and, and I mean, for 35 years, man. I, well, let me don't, not go back that far. But just I was nominated two years ago. Mm -hmm. And wow. the first thing I did was look at the list of people that are in there. Right. And for me, when I didn't see Frankie Crocker in there. Wow. Mm. You know, it's like, man, it ain't legit. <laughs> right. Frankie Crocker to me was the greatest DJ ever, man. And, you know, and just a true legend. And it said to me that you really, that you don't see us at this point. If you, can, if you can have a Hall of Fame for radio and not have Frankie Crocker in there, then it's just not right. So, um, you know, but I'm honored. I don't want to knock it, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously they see uh, that this is, uh, that this right now presents an opportunity for them to uh, have some diversity in their club. And, uh, you know, and, and you know, I feel like, man, it doesn't have to be me, but it does have to be us. Yeah, and, I know. Uh, I, know. I said that yesterday. I feel like, you know, maybe like you said, you were nominated two years ago. So if we don't get in this year. I'm sure we'll get nominated again. But you, Angie Martinez, Sway, right. and the fact that you're telling me that the only black man with a suntan, Frankie Crocker, not in there? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Like, what, what, what are they doing over there? It doesn't make sense. I didn't I'm even see Ed Lover there. I didn't see Ed Lover, Ed Lover and Dr. Dre in there as well. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, you know, it's, uh, they know it, though. So, you know, it, it will change. And I guess the, the cool thing is that you know, if we do get in, then you can be a part of that change. You know, but, but I'll say this, too, man. And I'm going to take this back to a conversation I had one night with uh, Frankie Beverly. And we were talking about our careers and just how they're, they're similar in this regard, that Black America, everybody knows you. They got mad love for you. But white America is just kind of, you know, they don't really know you. I'm not saying that none of them do. Some of them do. But, right. you know, and that I said, Frankie, I would never speak for you. But I think I can on this issue that. While I love that we have all of Black America, I wouldn't do anything to sacrifice that to try to get the rest of this. Absolutely. You know that right. that this I don't need that to validate me. You know what I mean? The fact that my people feel that way about me, man, is a ward enough, bro. Anything you give me beyond that is just gravy. I'm yeah, I don't need I, I don't need the white man's validation. I don't need these these white you know uh, organizations' validation. I love our people, our community, absolutely. And, you know, we just want to say thank you as well, because, like I said, we, we grew up on you. And Charlamagne, I bet you didn't know that Donnie Simpson, they say, is the first urban format radio personality to have an annual salary over a million dollars without being sick. I definitely knew that. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? I absolutely positively knew that. That's the type of stuff I be Googling and researching. You see that nice house Donnie sitting in? 
<laughs> look at the high ass ceiling. Look at his decor. Look at look at look at look at that ambiance in the back. You can't even see the skillet, brother. And Donnie's exactly. been looking like that for a long time. This ain't new to Donnie. That's funny. Man, y'all crazy, man. <laughs> so so what, yeah, what man. do we need to do moving forward, Donnie, to make sure that the Radio Hall of Fame does recognize our greats, our legends? Or should we even care? Should we start our own Black Radio Hall of Fame? I don't know. Well, you know what? That's an interesting thought, man. You know, uh, we've got the R&B Music Hall of Fame, you know, uh, so, you know, why not? Uh, but, I, you know, I think if we did, that this is still cool, you should have this too. Um, but, you know, I think that, you know, we're doing what we should do right now, Charlemagne. We were talking about it, man. And mm -hmm. that if we get in there, then we can help to work it from the inside of our people to recognize, man. Because, you know, I mentioned Frankie, but there are a whole lot of legends, man. There were every city in this town. And you, you know the history of radio, what it used to be. These people were powerful voices, man. Could stop riots. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that Petey kind Green. of stuff. Petey <laughs> Green. Yeah. Petey Green. Uh, I mean, it was just, they were, they were endless personalities. E. Rodney Jones out of Chicago, man. Herb Kent, the cool gent. There were so many great personalities, man. And then, you know, it was like systematically personality was stripped from radio. Right. Yes. You know, and, um, you know, so they should go back and recognize some of these people too, man. There's true legends in radio, man, that had power that, that, that no one has seen since, man. Yeah, I'm telling Petey, you. If, if Petey Green's not in, that's another travesty because Petey Green influenced the Howard Stearns of the world. You that's know? right. B.D. Green, that's my favorite radio personality of all time. If he's not in and Frankie Crocker's not in, then I'm going to have to say the Radio Hall of Fame is a sham. I'm going to have to say that. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, they'll fix it. You know, they will. Be because of people like you, man, talking about it, man. I'm telling you, that makes a difference, man. Absolutely. You know? And I respect you, man, for being so, both of y'all, for being so vocal in all that y'all do, man. I, you know, it's amazing to watch what y'all have accomplished. I want to wish y'all luck. And getting in the Hall of Fame, even though we all know it, you don't need it to validate you. Right. Your, your people give you your validation every day, man. Well, Same man. We, so. we I, I, I want to see you get in there too, my brother. Absolutely. We hey, appreciate you, you checking in this morning too, man. We really appreciate it, Donnie. Hey, man. It's my pleasure, brother. God bless you, man. All righty now. Let's Thank get out you. there and vote in November. Get this man out of here. Right, yeah. <laughs> get out there and vote. Absolutely. Donnie Simpson, no doubt. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Thank you, brother. All right, God bless y'all. Peace. Peace.